that we have in the ADB. Uh, see, this is my username and password. Right now it's correct, right? And that's why everything seems to work, right? So if I were if I launch my app. I'm launching it right now. If I go menu, refresh, ADB, Lockat. Yeah, it seems to work, right? Right. Okay, so now if I go menu, preferences, and if I put the wrong password, or yeah, username, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Username, well, first of all, it doesn't seem. Okay. Weird. I'm not sure why it doesn't see my username. Because uh, we do have it here, right? Okay. So. Okay. Everything's everything else is fine. Okay. So now I'm gonna put the wrong username. I'll put student forty-seven. I doubt that that one exists, yeah. right? Yeah. Ah, that's why. See, I have... What's going on here? Username went in capital letters. Um, I should not have had done that. So let me see. Why is the username changed to capital? That... I did not... I don't remember changing that. It should be like this. Using impossible. That's why it was blank. That is weird. Um, let me do this. I'm gonna blow up this file because it's now corrupted. So I don't have preferences anymore. So username. Oh, but this is now wrong. So let me uh, let me rerun this. For some reason, Eclipse changed my key to... Oh, I did it? Oh, well, I was explaining. Yeah, 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 and then I didn't change it back. All right, my bad. I always blame it on Eclipse. I'm usually right. <laughs> <laughs> Not always. All right, so menu, preferences. So you're going to put the wrong student username. So student 47, right? Password is going to be correct. P A S S W O R D. No, but is it running right now? Is the service running? Um, I am not sure. Probably is, yeah. No, I mean on your, on your, on your emulator. But if it's running, then you change it back to the wrong user ID password and see that the service will continue running. The well, your authentication doesn't fail. Yeah, so so we did so it's probably running. Uh, we can tell that by uh, we can well, we can just look at the ADB lockout, right? But I think it's running because it's. Uh, I want to see what my delay is. But nonetheless, let me do the refresh service, right? So refresh service is running. I have a I have a wrong username. Wrong user ID password, but it's running. Yeah, that's what's happening here. Why is that? Isn't the service getting cached? That means it doesn't get. It does not. It's not changing. The, the preference changes are not changing the service. What's in menu for that service? Yeah, but let's take a look. So this is what we do. We get a preference manager, or we get preferences in on create. This happens only once when the app starts, not when a component starts, but when the app starts, right? Um, and but we did register on share preference change listener. So we did do this. Right. So when the preference changes, it should notify us that the preference changed, right? Um, and we may have to re-get the preferences. So let me just double check one thing. What I'm interested in is does this. Uh, so Yamba, does this get called? So Yamba app star and star. Yes.
Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And no, that's, that's you know, in status activity, you're saying I'm still referring to Twitter somewhere? No. I don't Just think because. I am. I changed that to... I changed it. Yeah, I can't even do that because I made it private. Yeah, I made, I made Twitter be private, so I can't yes. possibly... Yeah. Uh, but I may have to do this here for for prefs because this is now the new preferences. So apparently the preference object might have changed. So this dot prefs equals prefs. That because this is gonna be um, so share preferences the the so the prefer so the share preferences. No. Yeah, so this preference has got to change. So we know that the preference changed, but why why did the value stay the same, right? <laughs> yeah, but get Twitter is yeah, so get Twitter is gonna get null and we're gonna update preferences every single time. Right, so, so the qu hmm? We would never get notified that something changed. What's the new preference? Where is it? Which line? It's just saying not re registered. Oh, on the new preference? But we are getting those notifications. Like if you look at here, so if I go to menu, and if I go preferences, see this get this did get notified again. Yeah. You just get a preference. Yeah. Well, maybe you never care about the preference object. What's that? Well, let's do this. Let's. Uh, you guys are wanted to do a de uh, use the debugger, so this may be a good opportunity, actually. Let's do this. Let's put a breakpoint. Right. So let's debug this. So we're gonna run this uh, using the debugger, debug as Android application. So let's see what happens. Is this starting or? I think it's just slow.
So let's take a look. Not sure why this is so slow. It should be a thatching. Is it attaching or not? Is the bugger working for you guys? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna have to... Yeah, because post is looking at every time. Oh, it's because it's retaining it in the server side? It's not required. Okay. Okay. That's why it works. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Because I normally use the get friends timeline, and that requires the authentication. Yeah. So it works for the post, right? Okay. All right. So then, that solves that. Um, so what's the reason for actually the user? It's uh, well, no, it's not supposed to. It's, it's, no, no, no. So in our service, uh, in our refresh service and such, what an update service, what we use is the get public timeline. There's no authentication needed for that one. So although you oh, specified so the wrong username and password, yeah, it fails. So the better test would be, uh, let me just run it. Uh, so the better test would be the post because that requires authentication. I normally don't use friends timeline, I use uh, uh, public timeline, I use friends timeline, and that one does require authentication. So. Still doesn't explain why my, my, my debugger all of a sudden stopped attaching. I worked like charm until it is to. So, so test, so if I do a test update, that's gonna fail. That's gonna fail, right? Uh, now if I go menu, preferences, and change username to correct username. So did we get the update? Yeah, we got the update, it got changed. And that worked. So yeah, so, so everything's been fine all along. I just didn't know, that, I forgot the public timeline and doesn't use authentication. Okay. So we did that. We already did the preference um, register on change listener. I probably don't need this one. Yeah. Pretty sure it's the same preference object. 